second hole. The second hole here. So we already got them cut. We got this is the front one. Actually, not the real front one. The real front one goes there. It's long and pointed. So this is the second one, third one, and then I call this the fourth cut, but it's really not. For some reason, only these three count. The first the front one doesn't appear to count. So anyway, so we're nailing it in. We epoxy top part here of that one and on the inside here with this one. Yeah, so there. They land it on there and then after that we epoxy this whole area because this second one lays on top of here, overlaps it, and then goes on the inside here to go under the next one. So they're overlapping a hundred percent on these. And uh making a three-fourths inch uh, thick hole, basically. Except for the front. The front's only three-eighths because we can't double double layer that one because it's curved and you can't push it down. It's, it's, it gets too complicated to try to double layer that one. So, anyway, the first cut of the second hole. And we will be back with more from Night Paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. Everybody, we're nailing. Put the nails in the, uh, the, the bow, the uh, bottom, I guess you call it. I don't know what you call the bottom of the bow, but anyway, you call it bow bottom. And then uh, after that, when, and we lassoed it and bent it down tight and all that. So after all this dries overnight, then we can come back and, and cut the end off there because it'll be a little square tip there and then uh, and then what are we going to do I don't know what we're going to do next uh, maybe we'll see they may know something that I don't know that needs to be done so we'll wait for the boat experts to tell us what we do next and we'll be back with more we got the bottom on the second hole let me get back so you can see it get a whole shot in Bye for now. One of the other things we're doing today is, uh, you see how this uh, cut, or the bottom of the boat, the little wing doesn't stick out as far? Well, that's because we're cutting them down to two and a quarter inches. They were almost four inches, and it looked just a little bit too big. And so we're trimming them down. We're trimming all these down to uh, two and a quarter inches, like we did this one here. And that's the same size as we have on the the mothership I guess we can call it see right here these are all uh, two and a quarter and not the front one the front one's wider it's about four and the same on these the front one's wider it's about four so we'll cut these down and it'll be uh, pretty much identical to the cuts on this boat so they'll look all like they belong together so we're gonna do that now I've got my saber saw and my reading glasses so I can do the fine detail cut and we will be back with more. Well, actually, let me show you what they're doing up here. They're actually filling in at the nose here. They cut a two by four and grooved it all down. And they're sticking it in here like that and filling that that uh, that bow tip so it's nice and uh, sturdy. So anyway, we are going to cut these bad boys. Not these. These are already cut. We're going to cut these bad boys both sides and we'll be back with more making a trimaran a three cut trimaran from my paradise on Italian island bye for now this is our first step in the uh, trimaran uh, sugar scoop there's the other side and this is the middle of course so anyway that's the first step we just pieced it kind of to get it just sitting there now and we got to kind of think about this tonight and then tomorrow we're going to piece some more you know together and as we go by it's kind of just like make it work because the wood uh, that they have here is, is not exact sizes so you can't count on anything a t two by four being uh, one and a half by three and a half of you know finished lumber uh, they don't exactly I mean they no they don't have it here okay so so anyway that that one's going to get a sugar scoop steps like a catamaran and this is going to have sugar and there's be three steps uh and so we'll see we, we got to kind of piece this uh, kind of a kind of play it by ear type of a thing but that 
is what we're up to now. And we'll be back with more sugar scoops from my paradise on Battalion Island. Bye hey, for buddy. now. Look what we're building, huh? Stairs at the back of the trimaran of the two outer holes. This piece here doesn't go here. This piece actually goes down in here like that. And then there's one more step going out here. But these are the steps coming in the back. So they're working out just about perfectly. I'm just amazed how just even the wood. We didn't have to shave any wood here. We just stacked it up and it came out perfect. So yeehaw. And uh, yeah, here's the second uh, piece up here for the very top step. So somebody can sit here and uh, put their foot feet down there and then fish off the back if they want or people that get in and out of the boat. This makes it easy to get in and out uh, of this boat. Uh, so uh, anyway, we are bracing and everything as you can see. Everything is braced underneath here. I move the lighting as good as I can. So yeah, we're super braced everywhere. So it should be sturdy. We got a two by four solid bottom, so we're not trying to push through the plywood here on the uh, bottom when people are on there, because you know sometimes you get chubby people. <laughs> and me, I weigh 200 pounds, so yeah, that's a that's a chubby guy there. So anyway, I think we're doing good. I'm happy. So we got to notch a few things and uh, do a little uh, cleanup work, but we're just about done. And we will be back with more. We also got the, the front plywood on here this morning. We've been working on that, getting this these curved uh, pieces on. They, they soak the plywood in water overnight. And then I cut the wet wood this morning to the shape. And now, voila, done deal. How about that, folks? And, of course, bronze nails. People call these copper, and they call them, uh, uh, what else they call them? Uh, brass, but they're bronze, 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 not copper, not brass, they're bronze. So, anyway, bronze handles salt water better than any other similar uh, thing. Brass and uh, copper are similar, and they're contains uh, the same metals, uh, but there's no zinc in uh, bronze, and there is zinc in brass, and zinc uh, corrodes uh, in the salt water. So, anyway. There's some stairs on one side, and we'll do the other side next, and we'll be back with more from my paradise. We're building trimarans. We also uh, put tarpaulins on these because it started to rain, and they were getting wet. We didn't even get to work yesterday because everything was wet, so now we we got these tarpaulins, and we wrap them up, basically, and they can't get wet, and all of our wood completely covered with yeah, you know, tarpaulin too to keep it dry so we don't lose any more days of work, you know, due to rain. And it rains in the middle of the night here, so, you know, nobody's going to rush out of their house and, you know, tarpaulin something. So every night we just tarpaulin everything up and then we don't have to worry. We can sleep peacefully. So we will be back with more building stairs and trimarans from my paradise on Battalion Island. Bye for now. We are putting in stairs at the back of the catamaran. See the stairs there? You can't, it's hard to see because we've got sea clamps and hammers and stuff. Okay, but yeah, this is all the wood here. We've already cut it. So we're well on our way to putting in stairs. And we, see this one that doesn't have any stairs yet. It's just got, it's got the first little cross board there. We're at the bottom of the stairs, the, the kind of, you know, like sport. So now we're putting these in, and epoxy's everywhere, and you definitely want to epoxy everything anyway, because any little gap, water's going to get in and start seeping into the edges of the wood and stuff, and then you have a mess on your hands. Well, you got wood that's going to have a problem. Uh, so, anyway, we, <coughs> there's uh, putty, I mean the uh, epoxy. So we, because I got epoxy all over my hands, I can't really video very well. So we will be back with more epoxy in and nailing on the stairs. And as soon as we're done, I'll do a video and show you the stairs. So we'll be back with more stairway to heaven from my paradise on Battalion Island. Bye for hey everybody, now. this is Sugar Scoop Steps. 
And we haven't actually curved the wood yet or anything, but we'll probably curve that to make it look more fancy. But these are basically the steps to get out of the water at the back of the trimaran, so you don't have to try to climb over <laughs> the side, because that's about it. I mean, there's other ways to do it. Sometimes they have a little ladder that flops down from the spar between, or the, yeah, between the uh, holes, but... I decided to go with sugar scoops because I thought it was a little more fancy like the fancy catamarans have and stuff. So anyway, we're putting in the last pieces. We got epoxy all over. I mean, and I've washed my hands and this is the epoxy that's on there now after I wash them. I'm going to wash them some more. Honey, don't be doing that because we'll do it later. But smooth out the rough spots because you know, we're going to have to sand those down. So that's the whole plan here is to do it smoothly. Yeah, when you put this stuff on, you got to sand all that stuff down to get it smooth before you paint. And if it's just dabbed on there, it's, it's, it's a sanding nightmare. So, and it will be <laughs> a sanding nightmare. I got a power sander, so I'm going to you know hit it with that. But still, it's time and effort. So. And we will uh, epoxy like a thin coating on all the wood everywhere, on, on the uh, sides, inside, outside, uh, virtually everywhere. It will get a thin coat of epoxy on the wood before we paint it. And, you know, and that uh, just further uh, waterproofs the uh, all the wood. So we are building stairs, and we, I don't know if you can really see them, but like that. Kind of. So we'll be back with more sugar scoops on a trimaran. From my paradise on Italian Island. Bye for now. Everybody, we are putting in the first step on the second hole here. So this is the, the first step. It's going to go across there. And then, of course, up. But uh, this is the first step here. And then we're going to do more. And, of course, you can see over here on this one, we've already got it done all the way see we got all the steps in there all the way to the top so we're good to go here we just got to finish this one here so we will be back with more building steps for my paradise on bentayan island we got a trimaran in process bye for now an epoxy mixing party here it was actually getting kind of dry and stuff so they add a little uh, lacquer thinner to it and that kind of re rejuvenates it so it's uh, thin again step and put the wheels in on the sides here and everywhere we're going to kind of kind of make a kind of a curve arch on the back here cut this off at a round up round them off or do some kind of a some kind of a design not be square so we got to wait till all the stairs are done and then i got to figure out what i want to do style wise so we We'll be back with more. I got epoxy all over my fingers. Bye right now. Everybody. We just about got the stairs done. So we got the first, second, and the third. Now we have to add those two boards there, but we got to notch them um, so that they sit in. One notch that's under and the other goes flush with this. So we'll notch them. Basically the shape of this board right here has got to be the top of those. have to be notched. And then one goes here and one goes here. So they'll both be notched, and then we'll be good to go. We'll have these stairs done. And I don't know what we. Well, we may flip them over and do the the ribs on the bottom, kind of like a like I don't know if you know boat talk, but uh, chines. Those are little uh, grooves that go down the boat to help uh, it not be wandering around because the bottom of this is flat. So basically, it can slide any direction. You can turn it sideways, and it'll slide because it's flat. So those chines kind of—they're uh, like three uh, of these, actually, one by twos. Three of these one by twos, going down, one down the center, and uh, one down the, this side, and one down that side, and that kind of helps the boat go through the water uh, more straight. And when you turn, it kind of has little traction grippers that grip the water and help you turn so we will maybe do that next so yeah good more this is how you clean pipes the uh off of your uh, water
water if it's still wet and even if it's not uh, wet if it's kind of dried you can uh, eventually get it off with water and kind of scraping it uh, too so water helps so we will be back with more cleaning putty knives and our hands and finishing stairs from my paradise on Medallion Island hey Bye everybody you know we're in the Philippines because what do you hear in the background huh anyway that's that guy there He's sounding off because all the other ones are. Let's see if he'll see if he'll go next. There he goes. He's getting ready. Do it, dude. Do it. Okay. Well, he's just. Oh. There we go. We got him. <laughs> all right. So you know you're in the Philippines now. So anyway, we got the back. This is day nine, and we got the back steps done on the second uh hall outer hall and uh so the other thing that we did too we uh came up with a like a design for the back here how we're going to uh make that like that right there basic shape that you can There, basic shape but you can kind of see it like that also that piece that just fell down that's the trim that's going to go on here on here like this you know because this is only uh, one fourth inch plywood there so we're going to have this trim on the outside you know like that and then we're going to have the same trim on the inside here so it's like uh it'll be like an inch thick here It'll be one inch thick because this is three eighths, this is one fourth, and the other one is three eighths. So it'll be a uh, seven eighths of an inch thick, actually. Actually, so this is good and strong. It's not just a flimsy piece of plywood. So, yeah, this trim will go here. It'll be trimmed down, of course, and shaped and all that, so that it matches up with everything and rounded the edges here and here and you know all the finish work. And we've got our and this is our master pattern here. And we've drawn, I don't think you can see it, but maybe you can see, we've drawn three, one, two, three more, and this is four, so we need four for each boat, uh, two outside and two inside, so that's the way we're kind of finishing off, we got to trim all this stuff up too, because this is just initial cut, so I think that's about where we're at today and uh we will be back with more trimarans from my paradise on bentayan island building them right here in the philippines and of course that's the mothership covered up in case it rains because again a little cloudy and stuff and if it gets wet if the wood is wet you you can't do nothing and so we have tarpaulin for all of our lumber supplies tarpaulin for each uh hole too so anyway we will be back with more still got lots of wood so plenty of things to do still got one more sheet of uh plywood too i don't know what i'm going to do with that but we'll figure it out uh, we'll try to take all this stuff with us when we go from here we're in Lilo on just north of cebu city uh, north, actually north of Cebu City is Mendawi, and then the next city is Consolation, and then the next city is Liloan. So we're, yeah, you know, these are just suburbs of uh, Cebu City. So we got to take the boat from there all the way around the north tip of Cebu, once it's done, of course, uh, and across over to the north, around the north tip of Bentayan Island, and then back down over to Sunset Beach, which, you know, of course, is a property that we own, where the boat will uh, reside. So, we will be back with more. We're building stairs and cutting the backs and designs and all kinds of stuff. For my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. You may be asking, what is under all the blue tarpaulin? Well, if you look up in the sky, it's kind of cloudy. And it says it's going to rain around 6. It's been raining every night 
for the last few days and the boat got wet the other day and we couldn't work uh, one day yesterday we couldn't work because the boats were all wet and the wood was all wet so we tarpaulined everything put tarpaulins over all the boats and stuff like that so that they will stay dry and we don't have to worry about wet wood and uh, yeah because epoxy doesn't stick to wet wood epoxy will stick to dry wood but it won't stick to wet wood so you can't epoxy and do any real work uh so anyway this is our lumber this is one of the holes uh, outer holes that's the other outer hole we just put step stairs in that one you know sugar scoop caterman style and that's the uh the central or the center hole or the mother hole <laughs> i guess you could call it but anyway we got them all wrapped up and we're heading out for the evening and we will be back working on the boats pretty soon it's saturday so sunday they're off and monday we got to run some errands so uh tuesday we'll be actually be back working on the boats again so we will see you then tuesday and bye for now from my paradise on the italian island they're all wrapped up and put to bed bye for now